Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who's watching this video and to Sister Loda who we have here with us today. Alhamdulillah, she's going to reflect um, on some of her Ramadan experiences as a convert. Alhamdulillah, this will be her third Ramadan, inshallah. So um, <clears throat> we wanted to use this opportunity to um, share with everyone who's watching some experiences and reflections from the convert pers perspective, inshallah. So Sister Loda, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, so alaikum to everybody. Wa alaikum salam. Can you tell us um, uh, about your first Ramadan? Did you have any expectations going in and were there any surprises for you? Yes, so my first Ramadan, alhamdulillah, it was, um, 2018 um, and I really did not know what to expect um, but alhamdulillah I had my one of my best friends uh, Liz who's also a convert um, she was the one who actually um, uh, guided me through you know my whole process and she's actually um, being a big support uh, still now um, and so uh, we went together to different um, the different mosques, and I remember actually the first iftar um, that I went to was at your house, Sister Edlin, <laughs> and um, and it was very um, you know it was a uh, it was a very humbling experience for me, I would say. Um, although I at moments I felt a little bit maybe like you know, am I going to feel um, out of place, you know, because I didn't speak the language. And most of the women um, were speaking, I think, Urdu, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, but alhamdulillah, I had Liz with me. So we were, you know, we were each other's support. So um, it was actually a very sweet experience. Um, but uh, definitely, I think it was very life-changing for me. Mashallah. So can you tell us more about your experiences with the community during your first Ramadan? I mean, your experiences at the masjid, did you have, uh, how did you feel there? Yeah, so um, I think that it was amazing how uh, welcoming uh, MCC was uh, for me and also the other converts. Um, I remember they had a, a iftar there and um, uh, that was very, uh, it was very nice, at least for me, because I was able to speak to other, you know, people who were probably feeling the same nervous as I was, um, you know, and, and we had our little, you could say a little group, you know, that I was our own. Um, so I would say definitely MCC was extremely, um, and continue to be extremely um, helpful for me, as well as, you um, you know, other places like Atalif, which is a place also that um, Liz uh, brought me to. So she introduced me to them. And um, I also spend some of my time there um, during that first, uh, the first Ramadan. Um, you know, so I was going through a lot internally because uh, it was uh, an adjustment, not just for me, but also for my family, you know, because none of them are Muslims except for me. Alhamdulillah. And, um, and so uh, being around, you know, my brothers and sisters in Islam, then, you know, gave me some comfort. And so I, I really appreciated finding that at the mosque. Alhamdulillah. How do you manage um, being the only one in your family who's practicing, observing Ramadan and celebrating Eid? Yeah, so um, I think that, you know, like I mentioned a little while ago, it was, it was challenging. I think the first, probably the first two years, um, because I, you know, dealt with a lot of like making sure I wasn't hurting their feelings and maybe getting even angry at times of that they wouldn't understand what I was going through or, um, you know, uh, or the times when um, I, because it was an adjustment, you know, because I had never fasted before. And so going through the whole emotional of like um, times not waking up 
you know, early enough to eat. So I would go the whole day without eating. And so my mood, <laughs> you know, wasn't the best, um, you know, but alhamdulillah, as time went by, you know, things are getting better. Um, I definitely have um, my family support in that aspect now. Um, alhamdulillah, you know, my husband um, is now here. So this is actually our first Ramadan that we're spending together. Um, and after, you know when I converted to Islam I was actually the same day we got married so um alhamdulillah we're able to do that so now he's also my support system here so yeah so it's, it's gotten better alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah one thing I wanted to ask you about I know you're a, a proud uh, Latina so I wanted to know uh if you are able to bring in some of your cultural traditions or um you know, any family traditions that you grew up with into your uh, Ramadan experiences so far? Yeah, so I am, um, so I am, I'm Latina, I'm from Nicaragua. I was born in Nicaragua and um, sure. we came here, I came here when I was a baby to San Francisco. Um, so I would say the food, you know, um, I think regardless of the culture or where you're from, food always brings people together. <laughs> so, um, so I'm able to cook, you know, those those dishes that we typically eat, which is like gallo pinto, which is rice and beans, or um, maduro frito, which is, you know, fried plantains, or queso frito, which is fried cheese. So now, you know, my husband, who's Pakistani, we try to incorporate his food and my food together so we could all enjoy it a little bit of each other. MashaAllah. Yes. Over the past couple of years, do you have um, any favorite of Ramadan experiences, anything that sticks out to you? Um, I think having the get-togethers at MCC, I think, mm -hmm. are really um, nice for me again. You know, like I mentioned earlier too, um, you know, because I think as converts, um, we sometimes go through things that somebody who was born Muslim might not understand, you know? Um, and so just having that community, you know, um, getting uh, the reminders through our WhatsApp, you know, uh, chat that we have, you know, I'm the lot to you for setting that up for us and, um, and all the support, you know, that you bring us as well as MC, everybody at MCC, um, you know, so I think those are during this time, especially now going through this COVID-19, I'm sure there's a lot of, um, you know, converts who are, this is probably their first Ramadan, you know, and are feeling lonely or um, are feeling a little bit scared, you know, but just having those um, reminders and having that community, I think is very important during Ramadan. SubhanAllah, it's so hard. I mean, this year, we're not able to get together. I mean, just at a, as a wider community and as a convert community as well. So it's really important to, to be able to keep those ties at least virtually inshallah inshallah we can do the best we can inshallah. and i mean and you guys are doing you know alhamdulillah that <clears throat> everything has changed so much and technology is is our friend now you know especially during this time where we actually are able to bring the mosque you know into our homes alhamdulillah you know so that's a big support alhamdulillah Okay, so well, we're already in Ramadan, but I was wondering if before Ramadan started, was there anything that you were looking forward to, especially in Ramadan? Um, I think, uh, well, this, this year, I was really looking forward to, um, you know, that uh, the last day, you know, of getting together, of, I know that they do the... Um, the e prayer at the parks and stuff and um and i was really looking forward to that because this would have been my first year being able to do that I, all those other years i was working so i had told myself that i wanted to take some time off work to do that but you know given the circumstances we won't be able to do that um but um i just you know I, again i guess spending this, this specifically Ramadan with my husband and sharing that with each other, being each other's support. So I think this Ramadan was something that I was really looking forward to. That. Alhamdulillah. Okay, well, one last question for you. As a convert, uh, do you have any uh, 
special words for other converts, especially converts who this might be their first Ramadan or, or just their second Ramadan? Do you have any, any thoughts for them? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, just take it slow. You know, I, I've learned that, you know, Islam is meant to be easy. It's not supposed to be something difficult for us. Um, don't feel like we or you are competing with anybody who was born Muslim or because they know how to pray and we don't and we're still learning or, or because maybe we're not wearing, you know, hijab yet, you know. Um, I think everybody, regardless of, of being a convert or not, everybody's in their own path within Islam. And as long as Allah knows your intentions and you're doing the best you can, you know, Allah is, Allah is always watching. And so he knows, you know, and so just, um, you know, reach out. If you have questions, you know, don't feel like you can't ask anything because I'm sure that the same way you're feeling, maybe some of us are feeling the same way. You know, you're not, you're not alone in this. Um, you know, and so reach out and, and ask for help or ask for guidance. You know, there's a, there's a large community out there that um, it's, you know, is so helpful within uh, answering our questions or guiding us through the right, um, the right way if they cannot answer our questions, you know. So, um, you know, it, it's, things will get better, inshallah. You know, it, it might be difficult. And even me, I mean, it's, it's been, yeah, three this would be my third Ramadan, but you know, there's still some times when um, some things are still hard for my family, you know? And so I, I just keep in mind that um, it's a process for them as well as for me. And so, um, you know, just take it one day at a time and just have faith in Allah. And, you know, he, he guided us to Islam. So, you know, he's always going to be there for us. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, that was really beautiful. Sister Loda. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much. And um, inshallah, we will all gather again soon. Inshallah. I'm looking forward and to that. I hope you have a blessed Ramadan, inshallah. Keep us in your duas. Thank you. You too. Thank you. So, alaikum, everybody. And Ramadan Mubarak. Wa alaikum,